Thank you, Mark. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, as been stressed by Mark, there's been a lot of hope re regarding triple therapy two years ago when, when, when it was arrived on the market. But uh, the, the paradox is that the, the, the patients that are most needed treatment, that are patients with cirrhosis and uh, treatment experience patients, the results have been uh, pretty disappointing. Even though we could achieve pretty high SVR, uh, the management in clinical practice was a bit disappointing because of side effect management. Sorry, so this, this study is the QPIC study, the uh, early access French program. And uh, basically, so the background, as I mentioned before, in the phase three trials with Telaprevir and Boseprevir, very few cirrhotic patients were included. And uh, the SVR rates in these patients are poorly known. So the QP cord, that is a compassionate use of protease inhibitor in viral C cirrhosis. This is a French multicenter observatory, so initiated study under the ages of ANRS, the French Agency for HIV and Viral Hepatitis, in the setting of the early access program, so it was in early 2011. So the observatory included 674 treatment experience cirrhotic patients included in 56 sites in France. The primary objective was to determine the SVR24 and these are the interim analyses, the, 20, the SVR12 in 485 patients. But as been mentioned before now, the SVR12 is becoming the standard. So this slide summarized uh, the, the treatment regimen that was the label used for Bosseprevir with a leading phase and for Telaprevir. And uh, regarding the patient characteristics, what I already uh, stressed, uh, most of these patients were genotype 1, the most difficult to treat patients, uh, majority infected with genotype 1B. And as I already stressed, most of these patients would have been excluded for the, from the phase three trial. And also I want to stress that most of these patients were treatment experience and relapser, very uh, small number of non-responder. Uh, going to, uh, through the, the, the disease characteristics, I just want to stress that not all but most of these patients have compensated cirrhosis. So these are the results, and you can see that SVR12 is 40% with Stellaprevir. Another important point, headline, is that the response to prior treatment is important with triple therapy, and the relapser achieved better SVR than the partial and the non-responder. And also, as been mentioned by Mark before, the HCV subtype is important and genotype 1B infected patients achieve better SVR than genotype 1A. Regarding Bosseprevir, you can see that the SVR12 were very similar, 41%. And also, for Bosseprevir, the relapser achieved better SVR12 than the partial responder and the null responder. Subtype, again, genotype 1B was better than genotype 1A. And so looking in multivariate analysis at the baseline predictor of SVR12, relapse achieve a better SVR, relapser, as I mentioned before, and genotype 1B. So uh, this is a, a large, actually the larger real life cohort of treatment experience cirrhotic patients and you can see that the SVR12 rates were pretty comparable with the result in the subgroup of patients with severe fibrosis or cirrhosis in the phase 3 trial, but lower than the other phase 3 trial which focus on relapse. And the two predictive factors, as I mentioned before, is the response to prior treatment and the HCV subtype. So this result suggests the benefit of tribal combination, telaprevia and bosseprevia in compensated cirrhotic patients. Now let's move on to the, uh, this is another real-life study from Austria, investigator-initiated study on Teleprevia and Boseprevia in hepatitis C patient with advanced liver disease. And, sorry, uh, in this study, 
I want to stress that 191 patients were included, but uh, not all patients had cirrhosis, only a minority in contrast to the cupic observatory. And uh, regarding advanced events, you can see that discontinuation due to severe adverse event was observed in around 20% of patients, and also severe infection in almost 10% of the population. And when you look into details, this is a, the, the, the Telaprevia data, most of these patients had cirrhosis, as you can see. Similar trend was observed with Bosseprevia, most of these patients had cirrhosis. Now these are the SVR according to the fibrosis stage and you can see that the SVR were slightly lower than the one I presented before, 27% in the F4 patients and 47 in the F3 patients. You have to take into account that it's a small number of patients, much smaller than the previous study. So to summarize and conclude, uh, about one-fourth of patients with advanced liver disease can be cured by triple therapy. But although the frequency of severe cervical event was comparable to patients without severe fibrosis, the rate of severe infection was high, around 10%, and included three deaths. The predictors for septic event were low platelet counts, that are signs of portal hypertension, low serum albumin, and HVPG of 10 mm of mercury. So that means that in clinical practice we can treat these patients, but we have to closely monitor them because they are at risk of developing infection. Now let's move to another observational study, this one from the United States. Uh, this is still ongoing. And uh, the aim was to evaluate the safety and efficacy of triple therapy in a broad population of patients treated in North America, including patients with cirrhosis. So this is a consortium of academic and community medical center uh, involved in more than 100 centers in the U.S. And the demographic, clinical, adverse event available data are collected sequentially uh, from sequentially enrolled patients treated with both Prusiprevia and Telaprevia. And this is the interim information uh, of available data through April 12, uh, 13. So just uh, the flow charts. Uh, Almost 2,000 patients were enrolled. In current analysis, there were about 1,500, of whom uh, more than 500 had cirrhosis. And uh, about uh, 139 are still on treatment less than uh, 16 weeks, still on treatment more than 16 weeks is the majority, and completed full course about 20%. Early discontinuation of all treatment was observed in around a quarter of the patients. And uh, this was mainly because of lack of efficacy, adverse events in this patient. So this is a busy slide summarizing the characteristic. What I want you to focus on is that, uh, as you can see, most of these patients uh, were infected by genotype 1A and 1B. Uh, about 40% had cirrhosis and half of them were naive and half of them were treatment experienced. So it's a different population from the one that was included in the cubic study. So uh, to, to summarize, you can see that adverse events were quite common, uh, around 80%, but a most adverse event, anemia was the most frequent adverse event, not only with Stella Previa, but also with Bosset Previa in more than 50% of the patients. And severe adverse effects were observed in around 10% of the population. So, uh, in this interim analysis, the safety and on treatment efficacy of Telaprevia and Bosseprevia in the real world setting are comparable to that observed in the registration trial, but this is not the same population as the cubic study, as already mentioned. And also, no safety signal were observed. Anemia emerged at the most relevant adverse event impacting clinical care. And uh, patients with cirrhosis were at increased risk for severe anemia, 22% as compared to 14% in non-cirrhotic patients. And also, hepatic decompensation occurring in around 10% of patients with cirrhosis, and two of them, again, died from sepsis, like in the Australian study. 
So the patients continue to be followed to assess SER rates for the entire cohort. So uh, before concluding, uh, the, the good news is that in patients who fail triple therapy, we have rescue treatment. Uh, these are results uh, from a phase two study, including 40 uh, patients with genotype 1, most of them with genotype 1A, which is no surprise, but the one who, who fail, and who had non-virological uh, response, relapse or breakthrough to your prior treatment with triple therapy. And uh, these patients were treated in two arms, either daclotuzvir plus sofosbuvir, or either the combination of uh, daclotuzvir and sofosbuvir plus ribavirin. And if you look at the result, although we are missing SVR12 that will be presented during the meeting, the results are pretty impressive. Almost 100% of SVR4, I mean, we, we have to wait for SVR12. But the, the key issue is that we, we, we can rescue this patient, and this is good news for patients. So this is sorry. <laughs> so although this is a small number of patients, this is a phase two trial. This is a proof of concept that we have a rescue treatment in these patients that are not responding to triple therapy. <laughs>